أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وعباد الرحمن الذين يمشون على الأرض هونا وإذا خاطبهم الجاهلون قالوا سلاما والذين يبيتون لربهم سجدا وقياما والذين يقولون ربنا اصرف عنا عذاب جهنم إن عذابها كان غراما إنها ساءت مستقرا ومقاما والذين إذا أنفقوا لم يسرفوا ولم يقتروا وكان بين ذلك قواما والذين لا يدعون مع الله إلها آخر ولا يقتلون النفس ولا يقتلون النفس التي حرم الله إلا بالحق ولا يزنون ومن يفعل ذلك يلقى أثاما يضاعف له العذاب يوم القيامة ويخلد فيه مهانا إلا من تاب وآمن وعمل عملا صالحا فأولئك يبدل الله سيئاتهم حسنات وكان الله غفورا رحيما ومن تاب وعمل صالحا فإنه يتوب إلى الله متابا والذين لا يشهدون الزور وإذا مروا باللغو مروا كراما والذين إذا ذكروا بآيات ربهم لم يخروا عليها لم يخروا عليها صما وعميانا والذين يقولون ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما أولئك يجزون الغرفة بما صبروا ويلقون فيها تحية وسلاما خالدين فيها حسنت مستقرا ومقاما قل ما يعبأ بكم ربي لولا دعاؤكم فقد كذبتم فسوف يكون لزاما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Beloved brothers and sisters, we commence by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sending blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his entire household, all his companions. May Allah bless them all and bless every single one of us. May he keep us steadfast. May he grant us the power to become better people as the days pass. And may he grant us the ability to fulfill the commands that he has prescribed upon us. And may he grant us the ability to abstain from the prohibitions that he has made clear and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the power to turn to him at all times in repentance. Amin. We have a topic that is very broad. It can be discussed from more than a thousand angles. Who is a Muslim and who is a good Muslim? The reality is this would 
govern the entire life that we lead from point A right to Z. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and may he make us more conscious of who we are. The first question I need to ask myself is, where was I before I was born? Then I need to ask myself, where am I right now? And how long will I be here? And then I need to ask myself, where am I going to go after my heart stops beating and this body of mine is separated from the soul? Every one of us should be bothered about the answers and we should not rest until we are satisfied with the answers. We will have to go to the creator and maker because lost are those who believe that we all just came into existence coincidentally. That is definitely very foolish. May Allah protect us. It is the height, or should I say, the lowest level of intellect, if we can even connect it to intellect. However, a growing number of people feel that we are here in this world and we were just here coincidentally. We need to enjoy as much as we can and we need to reduce this beautiful life to a little period of entertainment. And once we've enjoyed ourselves with whatever makes us feel good, then when we die, we just disappear into thin air. Sadly, this is growing to a certain extent, but I'd like to give you good news that there is a revival of religion and faith, more so that of Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen us. My brothers and sisters, today the globe promotes entertainment as being the reason that you were brought into this world. So people every Saturday night, they are gone for the dance, they are gone to the clubs. Every other evening they are on weed and perhaps they might be smoking all sorts of items, maybe marijuana and so on in this part of the world. And they might think, you know what? It makes me feel good, man. It makes me really feel good, man. And there's nothing wrong with it. So what? That's what they say. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has indeed shown us the path that in this world we will enjoy and we will only enjoy the most when we discipline ourselves to the laws of the maker. So when Allah has dedicated laws of marriage, for example, they are there in order for myself and yourselves to lead a much more blessed life full of purity. When a person suffers anxiety or sometimes when they have engaged in lots of sin, they begin to suffer anxiety because they don't know and they have a bad relation with their own family members, with their spouse, with their children, perhaps with others because they have been engaging in sin and they have wasted their time in this life. When a person is on his or her deathbed, 